Hey there guys, my name is Metro, and what you're about to see is hidden footage, right? A secret interview with Arna, who plans to make his return. I figure I'll give this as a little teaser, a little insight into what's going on in his head, where he's been. Obviously, hopefully you guys know who Arna is at this point. Uh, he's, he's my boyfriend. No, I'm just kidding. Good friend of mine, got me into Pokemon, and uh, he's looking to make a return on all fronts, so... Yeah, just going to be a live Skype call, interview, quote-unquote, uh, about some, some things that he's, he's doing and what he's been up to. So I hope you guys enjoy. But, like, yeah. that's something I noticed, uh, like, the Pokedex. What is that called in, in Japanese? That's something completely different, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, man, what was it again? I forgot. I, I'm actually going to receive it in, in, in a couple seconds, so I'll be able to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Pokedex. Here, here. 待ってたよ. I was waiting for you. That's what, here's what he's saying. Mm. Kochinikite, come here, come over here. Hakase ga matteru. The professor is waiting. So I, I completely understand it. It's really cool, actually. Yeah, it must be, especially since like you've been playing these games for so long, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like completely new, completely new dimension. Yeah. Koko ga Pokemon Kenkyujo. This is the Pokemon Research Lab. Nakade inside, and then this guy pops out. I really hated on him back 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 when I made a let's play of this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck I call him, Barry or some shit. Oh yeah, I, I always like, like I, I name myself something really silly, so now I'm called Princess Arno, like Hime. <laughs> <laughs> or like, like, or, or like uh, Arno and then like a really, really honorific but like uh, suffix at the end. Like really, really honorific, like, like oh, my, my, my beloved Arno or God, something. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, holy Arno. <laughs> <coughs> oh, gee, son, the old guy. Kowai to you ka, mechakcha daze. He looks, he looks uh, scary, but he's not really. Yeah, Arno Hime, ora ikuyo, I'm going, jana, well, see ya. I'm also learning like a lot from this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's it's really double dipping, isn't it? Like you're, it's really a complete marriage of both your ideas. You know, playing Pokemon yeah. and learning Japanese at the same time. Yeah, it's it, it's it's something it's something I now do in my spare time. So I, th I think I think what I'm gonna do, uh, what I kind of feel like doing. Like I was like halfway through with the uh, with the next video, I think. Yeah, well, well I, it was like from months ago. I was in the process of making the first grammar lesson. Oh, nice, yeah. And I might as well just restart. Like, I already have the audio and shit, so I guess I could do it. But perhaps I should restart, because now I completely don't know what I'm... What, what, yeah, that's what the thing. It's going to be inconsistent. You're going to have to actually spend time <laughs> learning what you wanted to do in the first place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that's why I, um, I, I was first gonna tackle like basic sentences like I am like like with the verb to be a equals B I am or no this is a student etc etc but for first I, I wanted to give like a sort of like introduction lesson to to basically what would I, to, 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 to like the to, like the big parts of Japanese grammar like particles what do they do? Uh, and and verb conjugations. What? Where is the verb? It's always at the end of the sentence. And how sentences are structured very logically, and you can like switch around things. It's funny though, because I I've been watching some of your older let's plays, like from two years ago, and it's, you seem to have known a lot of Japanese even back then, but you claim it's only just from watching anime and stuff. <laughs> yes, that that's completely true. Like yeah. I didn't know a single word of Japanese before I watched before I started watching anime, and then I think yeah, now it was two years ago. That's that's when I actually started like uh, started like taking evening classes. So that was from September two thousand thirteen, and yeah, I've been doing that for a, I did that for a year, and afterwards I was like, oh hell yeah, I completely funked my I completely flunked my uh, my my actual university studies, French and English. I might as well might as well start studying Japanese, and it seems to be my my real interest so oh yeah my platinum view lock days oh those are the days yeah that was that was one i just watched through because i never actually played platinum myself i've never it's played the fourth and fifth generation games like at all i know nothing about them oh i'd say it's a cool game yeah so so you watched it entirely yep i watched wow i've been doing a lot of things that have like uh, the potential for just kind of listening to stuff while i'm doing them
Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I've just been kind of listening. I haven't really been watching as much yeah. as listening, but... But it was too difficult to maintain, so now, now I'm just going to go back to uh, standard stuff. Yeah. Flora Sky was also uh, really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I watched that too as well. I didn't actually realize, because I'd never really played uh, Gen 3 either when I played through this game, but it's basically just like... It's just the regular game, only there's some things different. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Flora Sky is not in the. Uh, what are you guys doing? Shut up! Doing shut up! That. Ugly person. <laughs> uh, this is this is like in like a new region, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I thought it was not a new region because all the characters from Gen Three were in it. And that's, I told yeah. you about this, right? You realize that you have your playlist backwards for this one. Yeah, I do, but <laughs> since, since it's like reverse, I don't really, I'm, I'm not going to bother. Oh, it's so easy to change it. And it would, well, it doesn't matter. I'm probably the only one who even cares, but it was such a pain trying to listen to this because I'd keep not realizing it. Like I'd be like 20 episodes in and I'd start going backwards. I'd be like, wait, this sounds familiar. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, in the beginning, I, uh, uh, I did it like this. Oh my god, I sure came a long way. <laughs> yeah, 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 that too. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to take a look at what I have for the Japanese lessons. I mean, now is the time to do it. If if I have if I want to uh, resume my YouTube, I mean yeah, I, I think I'll do it, cause my cause my Pocket Japan channel really has some potential. I think. Yeah, it really does. And it's man. actually starting to reach that potential because still even now I sometimes get like comments and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. And by now that 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 uh, that other girl who who wanted to like get involved with the channel, she's now out of the picture. Like, <laughs> oh, um, she's you killed her. Yeah, I kill her. Yeah, she's just lying in a ditch somewhere. Oh shit! What the <laughs> fuck? I was just joking. You're serious? <laughs> yeah. <Jeez. laughs> That's why I'm sitting here talking so casually about it. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna talk. She did. Yeah, no shit, dude. <laughs> Silence the old school way. I can just pick up from where I left, surprise him with a little video, and That'd then perhaps awesome, make man. like a, yeah, and then perhaps like and then perhaps make a uh, make the first episode of my soul server. Yeah, I could yeah. do that. Plants coming together. I like it. Coming together. Yeah. <laughs> no longer have to listen to videos from two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I can probably like like, like pre-record as much as possible because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be uh, staying in Ghent mm. uh, in like a sort of like student dorm, uh, so I won't I won't be able to make videos over there because I won't have my desktop nor the room and right. the walls are pretty thin, so I'm gonna have to do it at home then at some point. Yeah. So I I think I'll just make as many as many episodes as I can. Yeah. But then it won't be able to be view locked because. Uh. I have to like I have to like wait for comments and shit. It's true, yeah, that's what I've been doing with all the series I made. I just sit down and record like ten at a time, basically, you know. Or I could just completely randomize it and put all the Pokemon in a long list, and then just pick one random Pokemon that I have to catch every single. That'd episode. be kind of cool, actually. Yeah, 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 that'd be neat. Yeah. So basically, what you do, I'm gonna have to scroll down a little bit. There you go. So wild Pokemon modifier, pretty straightforward, mm. and then you just and then you just cha uh, yeah you just change the number. If you change the Y value, it changes the uh, level. But I tried it and it didn't work. But I can change the Pokemon luckily if I change the X value. So I'll quickly start up my uh, Soul Silver. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying, you'll get it. There you go. Do, 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 do. All right, so then you go to emulation cheats list. Oh, it's actually still there. So I. So first, let's turn on this. So just the seal. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be encountering a, a, a wild seal now. Professor. Full of jokes, are you? What did he say there? I don't even know. No idea. Oh. <laughs> Right, so now that's a wild. Ooh, wild lucky! Wild Seal's wild. a good Pokemon to get early. Pokemon, definitely. <laughs> <clears throat> so that works. I'll quickly try a different Pokemon. 
Uh, let's go for a wild giraffe. So, so how do you know the level doesn't work? Like, what, 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 what did you have in there for those values if it wasn't zero one? Uh, now I wanted him to be level seventy three, but he's level one. No, uh, what? Here, go back to the action replay list on the website. So I can see it. Scroll back up. Oh, I see. I thought you put it in the wrong slot, but yeah. Hmm. So it should be 73. Now it should be a giraffe rig, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps I first have to leave the. Oh no, it's a giraffe rig. Now, if now obviously when I'm like level 40 and I catch a level one Pokemon, fuck that shit. But yeah, no doubt. I, I can also like above it. There's a wild Pokemon level modifier. It's all. It's always like. A, it's always like a, a 10, 20, 30. Hmm. Nothing in between. So if I so I can make it so that I encounter level 60 giraffe rigs then. So let's quickly try that. So all I need is like two codes, and then it should work. So yeah, it's going to be tough to beat that at level 60, though, this early. Oh, that, that's not it. Did <laughs> I just copy level 60? Yep. Not the code. Fuck that. <laughs> there you go. Now I think it should work. Perhaps first I have to... Uh, sometimes you have to leave it first. Yeah, no, it's level 60 now. So that, that, way, that way I can catch Pokemon that are like up to a decent level. Yeah, that's great. That's cool. Oh, yeah. So I guess I could do it, although Soul Silver has like a tendency to like crash. But since I won't be doing like a real playthrough, I guess perhaps I can do it. Well, where does it crash? Uh, I mean, sometimes it crashes. It's a really, it's a really big game. Like uh, the ROMs are usually not very stable. But I haven't tried it with the Japanese ROMs yet. Hmm. The other Japanese ROMs that I've tried, like Pokemon Black and White Two, uh, which I played at some point, they never crashed. So perhaps, perhaps this one will be stable. I mean, I had the problem with my, uh, what was it again? Mm, it wasn't hard gold. Storm silver. No, sacred gold. I, I made a really good sacred gold. That's played. Yeah, I just watched it. I'm in the middle of watching it. I don't know, like episode three. Is it a good, do you, do you enjoy it? I do, yeah. I like this. I, I really like Gen 2, honestly, man. Like, it's, I could watch Gen 2 all fucking day, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah, I kind of get tired of it, but <laughs> with, like, these rules and stuff, it really, it really changes a lot of the dynamics and shit. Yeah. My, my only real criticism of the of the game, I mean, the story is pretty good. It's really good actually, and it's a very rich environment. Um, so oh, the the only thing that's bad is like the is that the trainers are too under level. So it, it's it's too easy and it goes too slowly, and then you can't train your Pokemon up because the wild Pokemon are like a shit level. It's true. That that's why I like Sacred Gold so much, you know, because it's it really writes a lot of those issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like too grayish and, and, and too monotonous. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't really like like the latest games. It's like, it's, like, it's like that they're holding your hand a little too much. I agree, yeah. Uh, in Pokemon, Pokemon, like in the second and first generation and the third one even, it, it's much better because you actually feel like you're alone on an adventure. And here, like constantly, your parents call you and or the professor, and they're and you're like, oh yeah, don't forget to do this. And here is this random item that you'll need, and actually, you'll never need it because the game is too easy, and you don't even need eight gems. To it's get actually around. a good point. Yeah, like the fact that they're everywhere really makes the world feel small. You know. Yeah, I mean, like it, it, it like takes away from your freedom because you're constantly being reminded that that you're like part of this story. But sometimes you just want to go explore. And with Pokemon, with Pokemon, uh, the first and the second generation, there were actually like a lot of places that you could go and explore. Yeah, that's one thing that if I was ever to make a Pokemon game, I would make it completely freeform. Like you know how even in Reborn and stuff, like it's a linear. You have to get this badge and then you get that thing and you do that and that. If I was to make like um, a Pokemon MMO or something like that, would be the best way to deal with it, you know? Yeah. Like yeah just yeah. you could literally go to any city you want at any point, and you could bat and the gym leader's Pokemon would like scale or something, you know? Be Definitely. Yeah, I mean, it, it should be optional. The story. Um, I mean, the story. The story should be good, and and, and it should make it should make you progress and stuff, and and reach new towns. But it should be up to you whether or not you want to progress. And sometimes, like, like you, and sometimes you get forced into these cutscenes, and they take so long, and you you're constantly being checked up on and stuff. It, it, I kind of don't really like it that much. It's very and, linear as well, you know. Yeah, it's very very linear. Like for example, in the first generation, first you had to go get you had to go get the third gym badge, the electric one, and then you had to figure out like. 
oh yeah, Snorlax won't budge. I can't go. I can't go <laughs> onwards that way. But I can, however, first go through that through that Diglett tunnel, get the HM Flash, which I can use since I got the first badge. But now I already have three badges, and I can also get cut from the from and and have to use that by first going back to the second gym badge town. And mm. then you go to the dark tunnel and reach Lavender Town. Like I have to actually, like you get a little lost, and that's a good thing. It's true. Yeah, the original map was all connected, but there was so many different ways to go that you really could. Yeah, get yeah, lost. yeah. And like for example, with Saffron City, how, yeah. how you could enter it first, and and you had to like figure out yourself. Like they're saying, oh, I'm thirsty, and and there is like there is like a, a vending machine where you can get it's like soda, and you have to actually make the connection. And now it's people like. Oh yeah, I heard that they're thirsty. Here's a drink that you can give them. I mean, that's not how it should be. It should be kind of like an adventure, like difficult sometimes. That's a good point. I never even looked at it like that. And I just have to like uh, pick that list. Maybe I'll have to type it by hand, but I'll just have to take that list and then randomize it. And every single episode at the beginning, I I, I kind of like make like a big deal about the randomization, and then it just picks some random Pokemon from that gen from the, from, the, from the four games, mm -hmm. four generations. It'd be funny if you got like really unlucky and got like the same Pokemon like five times. <laughs> that would that would suck, kind yeah. of. I mean, that's a lot of Pokemon to choose from. Oh yeah, a lot of good ones as well. Get Arches, that's cheesy. I'll just have to make this list by hand then. Fuck. Wait, you, you can't copy it from here? No, because it has like all the other stuff in it. Mm. That's fine. Or maybe I should just go for a, for a number, index number from one. Yeah, that's yeah, easy. yeah, it's way easier, right? Index number from one up till four four ninety three. Yeah. Random number generator. Oh, am I gonna have to pay for this? No. No, 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 not not lottery. <laughs> Numbers, there you go. Bottom, you were just hovering over it. There you go. Into integer sequence of your choice. Smallest value one, largest value four ninety three. Get sequence. Well, it's just, it, it randomizes it. No, I just want a yeah. number. Well, that's not this one then. You've picked sequence for a generator. The one above it is integer generator. Okay. Format in five columns. It's going to do the same thing, but you can pick just the first number. Yeah, I can do it like this. No, go back. Hit the hit go back. See the top? Generate 100 random integers. Change that to one. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for reading in my <laughs> state. <laughs> That would be 322. So first Pokemon is, ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing it here first. <laughs> a new one. It is going to be a new one. Oh, it's a good star. Fire ground, pretty strong out of the gate. What do you think about that one, Armo? Um, I, I, I would be happy with that in a hypothetical situation, but I think I'll probably wind up with, like, fucking Cacnea or Trapinch. That would be even worse. <clears throat> I'm never able to keep that one. Right, oh, you know what would suck? Like, Arcanine. He's not going to know any moves, is he? Oh yeah, that's true. Nine tails. Yeah. Like, what would a nine tails know? Oh, he knows flamethrower, so he'd probably just kill my Pokemon then. <laughs> yeah. No, he would know Ember in Generation Four, not even flamethrower. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, might. Yeah, so I'm saying like, there's some really bad situations here. All right, so I'll do that. I'm gonna have to figure out a name now. Random lock is taken. Maybe I should just make it obvious. Mm. Pokemon uh, a lottery lot, a lot lottery lock. Yeah, that's not bad. Pokemon lottery lock. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck that. laughs> it has like a ring to it, but it's difficult difficult to pronounce. Yes, lottery, lottery lock. lock. Lottery lock. A lot of syllables for very few letters. Or Pokemon Lotto Edition. Yeah, there you go. Lotto Edition. 
The Japanese lottery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll do that. It'll be, yeah, that's good. All right, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting pumped up about this. Me this too. This is good. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Would you say that this looks professional? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because I don't really know. It's not very consistent, though. You wrote this? Yeah, completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very good, very good. I like the different colors. That's that's what it really, really has going for it. All the different colors. What's the red and blue? What was what, what that in the sentence there? The red is the particle. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And to illustrate that this is the particle in the actual Japanese sentence... And then the verb comes at the end, yeah. which is also in blue then at the end in the Japanese one. Sweet. Yeah, those <laughs> words just look so difficult to speak. <laughs> oh, no, it's actually really easy. Uh, like, how, how, how would you pronounce this? I don't even want to try, dude. I'm just going to embarrass myself. Go for it, man. Go for it. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What is that? Onna no hito wa nihonjin. Yeah, nihonjin. Interesting. Nihonjin means a Japanese person. Yeah. <laughs> that one there, phonetically. Phonetically. That one's nuts. Which one? Ah, right. uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, ph phonetically. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough Japanese word, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Almost as tough as sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. So, yes, a sarcophagus. sarcophagus. So, wait, I, I said something like a, a sarcophagus. <laughs> sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> you sarcophagus. <laughs> stuff. Like, for example, a little, a little tale about Seth. Uh, his brother, Aziris, uh, was like the, uh, the god of gods. He was like the head god, if you know what I mean. And Seth was jealous. And Seth told him, like, hey, I made you a nice little sarcoph yeah, so so sarcophag thingy. You guys know what I mean? It, 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 it's, it's, like, it's like a chest where you can, like, lie down in. And so, yeah, uh, Aziris was foolish and he lied down in that. In this sar sarcophagus or something. Fucking hell, my pronunciation. A sarcophag. Yeah. Or a sarcophagus or something. <laughs> Uh, well, I gotta get going, so, uh... Alright, yeah. I'll see you around. On, yeah. like, one of my videos, probably. Definitely, yeah, let me know if anything happens between now and then, otherwise I'll see you there. See ya. Alright, buddy.